do you know that this background you are seeing right now is 100% fake well that is the truth here is my main background you can see the difference between the two video background so in today's video i'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get high quality and nicely looking video background for your youtube video so for example if you are shooting a video in a place whereby you are not getting a nice background but then you need something to replace it well in this video that's what i'm going to share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can do it so so whether you are shooting your videos with your phone or a normal standard camera you can actually get this sort of background provided that you watch this video to the very end and implement every single thing i'm going to share with you so without any said hello guys if this is your first time on this channel welcome to my channel welcome to press tech on this channel i mainly focus on sharing every single thing you need to know about content creation and how you can make money online so if you find this topic helpful and you need more videos like this then don't forget to smash that subscribe button like this video so without any said let's get straight on my computer let me share with you a step-by-step -step guide on how you can get this sort of background in few minutes so hello guys as I said, I'll be sharing with you a practical guide on how you can actually remove your video background and give you some quality background for your next video order on YouTube or any platform. So the first thing you need to do is to come over to this website called Leonard. Leonard AI. Simply search for Leonard AI. So you can see it's here, Leonard AI. So this is the website that we are actually going to generate the background. This website will generate a very top quality background. So you can see this website here. This website actually helps to create some stunning images just by giving it a simple, a simple prompt. You can see it here. It's a no credit card needed, which tells you that this is 100% free. So all you simply have to do is hit on create an account. So don't worry, the prompt I'm going to use in this video, I'm going to share it with you at the end of the video. So make sure you watch this video to the very end so that you get the prompt. So now once you come up here you have multiple options on how you can create your account you can sign up with google apple microsoft or simply go to the manual system by implementing all your login details here so for me you simply have to hit on the sign up here once you hit on sign up you kind of fill in your information but i'm going to use on google so that i'll just continue with my uh, gmail account so now the ai is actually uh, signing us in so we are going to use this one to actually generate the background then we are going to work more in. so you can say pick your username so you have to pick a username so let me just go for a uh, press tech so i'm just going for press tech and then validating to make sure that the name is available so you just have to wait and say what are your interests so here you pick out uh some of the things that interest you so i'm going to go for stock images marketing and education yeah these ones are pretty much okay then after that you need to confirm that you are above the age of 18 and then hit on next so after you say introduce so for this i'll just close it off so now once you come over to the dashboard you can see there are so many uh prompts that they've already provided here however this is not the prompt we need so what you simply have to do is come over here to a say, image generation but here's one thing i'll tell you when you come over here to generate images before you start here is the thing i need to advise you they give you by default you have access to 150 leonard coins so meaning these coins they reset they say reset in four hours it may take up to an hour to update your tokens so these tokens here you have multiple 150 when you exhaust them you can hit on upgrade to go get more of them or you can simply wait for some hours therefore it will be refilled again so let me just go straight and then show you how you can generate the image because that's what what we are here for so for that simply hit on image generation and then once you hit on they say this is your first uh ai generation please type a prompt so here now this way i'm actually going to paste the prompt don't worry i'll be giving you the prompt at the end of this video so just watch the end so after this you see leonard uh diffusion just leave every other thing the way they are just keep every single thing like this and then the next thing you need to hit is number of images so you can go from one to four on your free plan so you can just stick by four and then image dimension so over here they say know that the selected model has been trained at 1024 7, so you will likely find the best result rendering at the resolution then upscaling so you can see there are so many uh ones you can choose here so you can go with any of these sizes available here so for me i'll just hit on 10x by 724 1024 by uh, 768 after that you can simply come over here so you can have come over here and then change it so most of the time i like making it the exact youtube size so for that come over here and search for youtube thumbnail size so it's 10 it's 1280 by 720 so come over here 12 
80 by 720 so you see just set it up like this after i hit on generate so now you just wait for this one is actually going to generate all of these backgrounds and then you pick the one that best suits what you want good so now you can see there are multiple options here now you have this one here and you also have this other one here so you can click on it like this to view it you can copy it to your clipboard you can remove the background and then this one will cost you additional two token or you can simply hit here to download so all you simply have to do is hit on download you see now you've downloaded it onto your device so on the other hand you can simply leave it by default as well so for that let me just say but let me just refresh it and I generate another one again using a different prompt. Copy. So there are multiple prompts and I'm going to share all of them with you in the description. So make sure you just stick tuned. So for this, I'm not going to use any of this size. I'm going to go back to their original given sizes and I hit on generate. So now you can see the previous one you generated will still be here. You see this is another one you can see. You can see that there are multiple ones that they can generate. And for this, you can just hit on it. And then also download it onto your device, you see. Just hit on it and then download it just as we downloaded the first one. And then download. So now I've already gotten one. So what we need to do next is simply come over here. And then the next thing you need is actually a uh, cap cut. Search for cap cut. So CapCut is a free video editor that you can actually use to edit uh, YouTube videos and that's what I personally use on my YouTube videos. So you can download it on your Android phone, iOS device or on your laptop as well. So for me, I already have it on my laptop. I'm just going to hit on it over here and then launch it. Hit on new project. Now you simply have to wait for the interface to actually load. So after this, now you need to import your clips, which is the main video you shot and then the backgrounds you downloaded. So for that, I'm just going to hit on import. So I have everything uh, set inside here. So now what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to drag this. I'm going to drag the video clip first. So the reason why you should drag the video clip first is because you need the video size to actually use the background because we are going to zoom out the background to actually fit the video size itself so after this now i'm just going to turn off the volume so i'm just going to turn off the volume and then drag the this background under it so bring up this background here and then after this now you can take the video upwards so that the video will be an overlay on the background so after that you can drag the background to just fit in so for me let me just uh, cut out a, a single part that i will be using for this let me just cut out this area here okay, let me just come over here and then cut out this other side and then drag it over so from here now i'm just going to mute this and then leave here alone so now uh, the next thing you need to do after arranging the clips this way is simply coming over to where it says cut out you simply have to click on the video itself and then come over to where it says cut out now don't use the chroma key this chroma key is only meant for green screen if green screen effect so since you are not using green screen avoid this one and what you need to do is come over to auto cut out so look at it they say the auto cut out only human figures can be cut out so it's going to pick only human figure and then leave the rest of the background and then cut it off the video so for that simply hit on it now once you hit on it you need to patiently wait for it to actually uh get it done you can see you can see at the edge here you see where it says processing so you can see that the, the processing is not done yet but it has already gotten the background out of it so now the next thing we need to do is simply hit on it hit on the main background we installed uh, let me drag this drag this over and then the main background we brought in here let's actually zoom it to fit So let's zoom it to fit. Okay. So you can see that we now have a total different background on the video. 
you can see you can see that we just have a total different background on the video itself and you see how simple this is and you can see that when i'm moving there's no such thing uh like any form of distraction you can see it's still processing that's why i see that it jumped back to this other old screen again so we just have to wait for the processing to be completed and then everything will be set so you can see 70 percent processing right now so hello guys after adding everything after adding all your clips together like this now the next thing you actually need to do is to add some blur because if you take a look at it right now it looks uh somehow unnatural so to make it natural we need to add some blur effects to it so for that come over to effect once you come over to effect if you're on your laptop simply go to where it says lens now when you come over to lens just scroll down until you see where it says blur so here is it you can see blur b l u r so after that just drag it over that particular clip you want to apply it so you see now you have it but it's too high so what you simply have to do is simply reduce it gradually until you get to what you think will fit your video best see this is not too bad but you can see take it down just to give you that uh, a little bit of distance from the main wall itself so that it doesn't look like you are just uh, jumping on the wall so that is the purpose of the effect so after this now let's see So you can see that there is a big difference now it shows that your camera is actually blurring off the background you can see it there and then now let's come over to the other clip and also apply it and see which is this one here and then i'm going to drag the blur effect on it also so this blur is optional you can choose to leave it you can choose to apply it all depends on what you want so you can see for this one the blur effect actually work well at the rate of seven so just take a look at this one here it looks so more natural like my camera is actually the one blurring off the background so you see this simply how you can get to do this sort of thing for your own video just give that your video that nice look by using artificial background so with that already said i hope you find this video helpful don't forget to smash that subscribe button like this video and tell me what you feel down in the comment section so with that already said have a nice day bye